Hello there, this is Adam Gusso. There's one thing that I've never done, which is in roughly the nine and a half minutes that I've got left, I've never tried to give you a rank beginner, or what John Gindick, my buddy John Gindick, would call a raw beginner. I've never tried to give you a distilled sense of where to start. So that's what today's uh, video is going to be about. If I need to continue it in part two, I will, but I'm going to do my best to do it in nine minutes and counting. Okay, let's talk about the harmonica. Let's, y y you've got one for Christmas, right? Somebody gave you a Honer, let's say Marine Band, Key of C, or another good professional quality uh, instrument. By the way, take a look at my frequently asked questions at Modern Blues Harmonica, because I talk a lot about different things you'll need to know. Okay, so Key of C. Let's say you've got a Key of C. First thing I would say is, if you're serious about the instrument, you probably want to go and get another key. Um, and why is that? Well, it's because a C is pitched right in the middle, okay, of the harmonica range. If you want to play blues, right in the middle. The A is quite a bit lower, and the F is somewhat higher. Each of them has different demands that they make on your chops, your embouchure, the way that you form your lips, the way that the place where your tongue is in your mouth, and so. It's a little bit like learning how to ride a bicycle or learning how to drive a car by driving a really small car and also an SUV. You're going to be a better driver if you can do both. Okay, so that's number one is get a professional grade instrument, get a key of C, but also think about getting a lower one like an A or a B flat or a higher one like a D or an F. Okay, number two, what do you need to know as a raw beginner about the harmonica? Well, you need to know how to play clear, clean single notes. You need to know how to articulate them with your tongue, as I just did. You need to know how to do double stops. You need to know how to play chords. So double stops are two notes. You've got single notes, double stops, chords. One, two, or three holes. You've got to develop a slightly different embouchure for each one. I have a video called uh, Blues Harmonica Tone Clinic at Modern Blues Harmonica, which tells you all this stuff about the embouchure and about how to kind of clarify the sound that you get. You need chords, three notes side by side. The first chord to start on is the one, two, three hole draw. Breathe in, then breathe out. If your chord doesn't sound like that, and it probably doesn't, well, you need that tone clinic video. It's all about looking like a duck and getting your lips like that, okay? Again, I just want to kind of give you the lay of the land. With, let's go back to single notes. There, it's about embouchure two. So not old maid's mouth, but big fat lips, inner part of the pucker. I'm moving quickly because I've got other videos about these things, but I want you to understand what you need to have. So those are, that's one thing you need to have. Double stops. Start on 3-4 draw, go to 4-5 blow, and then 4-5 draw and back down. Put on your red dress. I've got a lesson on that at Modern Blues Harmonica. Okay. Warbles. Instant blues harmonica, okay? Take the four and five hole draw. Move it side to side. You, you got this harmonica for Christmas. After this lesson, you're already playing blues harp. By moving it side to side as quickly as you can. Yours doesn't sound like mine? Of course it doesn't. I've been playing for 33 years, but that's one little key to getting some instant blues harp. All right, half my time's up. I've done all this in five minutes. Okay, let's keep going, though. So let's review. Single notes, double stops, chords, warbles. The next thing is a blues harmonica player that you need. Well, you need to know what cross harp is. So you need to know that when you start out, you want to use those single notes with some simple old campfire melodies. At my website, I, I show everybody how to do uh, Oh Susanna. Notice that I'm thumping with my foot. That's a crucial part of playing the harmonica. From the very first moment that you start playing, when you can actually keep and get one note, I want you to tap your foot or your hand. You want to get everybody clapping in the bar? You want to get your, your friends in school clapping? Make sure you keep a steady beat. Very important. Fundamental of the harmonica. Keep a steady groove. Don't speed it up like I just did. Pick a, pick a groove and hold it. Pick a groove your technique is good enough to accomplish. Okay, next, moving right along. What's cross harp? This is a big source of mystification for beginning players. Cross harp, well, what I was just playing there with O Suzanne is what's called first position. It means I'm playing this C harmonic. And by the way, notice where the, 
the little letter is, that's the key of the harmonica. I'm playing C harmonica in the key of C. Now it is possible to play blues in the key of C on a C harmonica. I just did it there. A guy named Jimmy Reed, actually I've got to interrupt myself. On my website I've got a list called All Time Harp Greats. Take a look at that list, okay, on Modern Blues Harmonica. All I'll give you a link on the, in the more, more info thing. All Time Harp Greats. One key element of learning how to play blues harmonica is listening to the right stuff. You want to learn how to speak French? Go to France, sink or swim, be there for a week, listen to Parisians talking French. Same thing with blues. You've got to listen to good blues harmonica. Get Get a cut by everybody in that top ten, at least one cut, or go and get a couple of CDs that are compilations. We're talking about guys like Little Walter, Big Walter Horton, Sonny Terry, James Cotton, uh, uh, Sonny Boy Williamson, Sonny Boy 1, Sonny Boy Williamson 2, uh, yeah, uh, Paul Butterfield, there's a bunch of other people, Howlin' Wolf, that, I, I'm sure I left somebody out, but anyway, get, get copies of songs by the great players who sort of laid this tradition out there for you. That's, that's absolutely crucial. Don't try to invent it by listening to Blues Traveler and Bob Dylan and, you know, Sanford and Son. I mean, that's not going to do it. You need to get the, the, the good stuff, okay? Those guys are all good, but you need to get the good Blues Harmonica stuff, okay? What's cross harp? Well, it's a way of playing in a different key that's a related key, okay? So I'm going to play the C harmonica in the key of G, and that's going to let me use draw notes as powerful chord tones and tonic notes, okay? Okay, you want to play like that? You got to play cross harp. So what does that mean? Well, look up Gusso cross harp. Look up cross harp on, on uh, Google and you'll find something about cross harp. Okay, that, but that's a key thing you want to get into pretty early. Now, blues tonality. There's really three things that blues harmonica, player, blues harmonica playing is about. It's about tone, the sound you make on the instrument, and getting a good, clear, beautiful tone, right? Maybe with vibrato, which is not in a beginner's thing, an intermediate thing. I'm running out of time, guys. It's about microtonal subtleties. You're a beginner? What do I mean by that? It's about blues pitches, okay? You want to start thinking about this, which means it's about bending notes. It's about lowering the pitch using your mouth in certain ways. I've got a video called Bending the Four Hole Draw. That's, that was the first one that I think beginners should try to do. But you can bend other notes. Hear that note? Baby, please don't go. down a New Orleans. Well, those are all bent notes, so that's crucial to begin to think about what it might mean to bend a note. If you're a beginner, after a month or two you want to work on that four-hole draw. Okay? Pause for the cause.